everyone. Um, I am designing a dress. It's an asymmetrical dress. And um, when you hear asymmetrical, it means you have to create um, the full block, either whether the design is in front or at the back. So I was going to actually, I tried to go live on Facebook, but unfortunately the network is not good. So I decided to just still just record on my phone. Hopefully we will we'll be able to have enough space to get this done. Okay, the design I'm creating is um, asymmetrical on the skirt part. And that's why I have not mirrored the front part. I've contoured the block. This is a basic block, not a neat block. But I will be using a neat fabric. By that I mean a stretchy fabric. So I'm going to be doing a lot of manipulation on here. And um, this manipulation is only applicable if and when you're using stretchy fabrics. There is um, a neat block, but I am not using a neat block for this design. Even though I'm using neat fabric to create the garment. But I am manipulating my basic block to still give me the same result. So I've contoured the, the upper part. The lower part is the asymmetrical part, which I have mirrored. Remember I told you asymmetrical means you have to mirror. So I have my full front for the skirt part. So I'm just going to cut away the, the upper part. As you can see, I have the scissor sign. I've drawn my grain lines. You should always draw your grain lines before separating or cutting your block into pattern pieces. Okay? Okay, so I'm just going to cut here. Okay, so I have separated my pattern into, I've sectioned it into the upper and lower section. So I'm just going to push the skirt part aside and quickly finish with this upper part. Like I said, I have contoured, I've drawn my contoured um, shapes. So I'm just going to go ahead to manipulate this. So for this, I'm creating um, a boat neckline, okay? So I'm just going to close this dart and draw out my neckline. I'm closing this dart for people who are not new to um, pattern. You always have to get rid of your bust dart away from the chest area so to you so you can design or draw out your style line. So that's exactly what I want to do. Okay, so I have closed uh, my dart to allow me to draw my neckline. If you don't close your dart before drawing your neckline, you will have a, a break. So it's, it's better to always get rid of your, of your dart by transferring it to any part of your, a new position on your uh, block before drawing out your any type of um, neckline you desire. Okay, you can use your French curve, E curve, to um, leg curve as well to help draw out your perfect curve. But I always tell my students learn to draw by hand, freehand drawing. Okay, so we are set for this. I'm just going to keep this. I'm going to use the shoulder on the back part of the dress as well just to make sure they are they are lying on the shoulder so i'm just going to keep this aside and uh, go on with the skirt parts okay so we have the skirt parts now like i said i'm i am using my basic block to create this garment and I, but i'm using stretchy fabric so i can and as you all might know stretchy fabric is very forgiving right so what i'm going to do is i am lengthening my dart down to the hem from my waist down to the hem and i'm going to close it so this becomes dartless it is fine 
for stretchy fabric. Please do not try this if you are not an experienced um, pattern maker on woven fabric. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close both darts. Me drawing the dart from the waist down, I have um, I've taken part of my measurement, which is still fine. Because this pattern was drafted with um, six centimeters ease on the bodies. Now I am getting rid of um, eight centimeters. So, which means I'm taking two centimeters up out of my measurement, which is fine because I'm using stretchy fabric. Okay. Okay. So, I have closed my the dots, and I'm planning my drape line. Okay. I'm planning four, and it's coming from the right hand side to the left hand side. I've pointed out according to the, my design. I've measured out on uh, the right side of my hip and uh, the, on the left side. So I'm going to join the markings. You can plan it as you want. Okay. So I've marked mine according to my design. I don't have the design actually. <laughs> But I know how I want, I know the look I want. Okay? It's smaller on here and it's longer on here. Okay? So I'm going to be slashing. My design requires me to slash from here to here. I open, I slash, I spread, then I will. I will open as um, I desire. This means scissors. So it's cutting. This looks like this, actually. So it means cut from here to here. So the gathers would be here, or pleats, or whatever you're trying to create. So I'm just going to cut. 